Hey everyone, it's Brianna with Sacred Twin Flame Union, and I'm back with another juicy card reading. We're gonna be pulling cards from the Sacred Travel Sacred Traveler, excuse me, Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. And this Twin Flame reading, I was feeling into it before, and it's all about choice. And something that my spiritual teachers definitely always say is, um, only your choice matters. And this is actually a class that you can watch in Twin Flame Ascension School. You get your all class pass at twinflamesuniverse.com. Um, this class absolutely changed my life and I wanna share some insights about it with you um, using our cards. So on this Twin Flame journey, you may find a lot of like tumultuousness or challenges or difficulties. Um, and none of those things, no matter how big or like crazy they may seem, none of those things um, have the power to take your twin flame away from you or have the power to cause separation. You and your choice, your choice is the only thing that matters in your reality. And your choice is what creates your vibration. And higher vibration, as we know, attracts love around us, attracts our twin flame and lower vibration, not so fun to be around, right? Nobody wants to be around a low vibe person. Now, what does it mean to have a really high vibe? Um, it's, is it just rainbows and unicorns all the time? Is it just love and light everywhere you go? Uh, no, <laughs> that's spiritual bypassing and that's not the twin flame journey. Uh, the twin flame journey is a journey of healing. It's a journey of deep compassion for oneself and a lot of patience with oneself. And even being in Twin Flame Union with Gabe, I still um, you know, go through deep challenges with myself. The healing does not stop. <laughs> when you come together, it does not stop. If anything, it's amplified. If anything, it's richer, it's deeper, it's juicier, it brings you closer, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, it's your choice whether you decide to heal or not, whether you decide to be present with yourself in those places of deep hurt or deep pain or deep terror even. Um, just a few hours ago, actually, Gabe and I were going through, it's it's like a, a, what is it, full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius or something right now. So as soon as I found that out that that was happening, I was like, oh my gosh, both Gabe and I are both Sagittarius. So I was like, okay, this is like, gonna. I know I know it does something. Like I know it's gonna affect us in some way. Usually, usually like full moons do. Um, and yeah, like it's true. We've been releasing a lot. We've been feeling it. Um, we had, uh, like both of us went through earlier, um, this situation where we felt like, um, there was a part of us that was just like screaming and crying and like in terror and like panic. Right. And all that part needed from us for both of us was our presence just to be able to look at it and be there with it, put our full attention on it. And as soon as we did that, the upset completely dissolved. The ego, the illusion of separation, it dissolved. And I immediately stepped into newer peace, deeper peace, and as did Gabe when he moved through it. So your choice is what matters. Your choice to, um, you know, stop and feel your feelings, stop and do the mirror exercise, or your choice to uh, make dinner or not, or go outside or not or do your hair or not like these all are all choices that you make that contribute to your vibration and you want to be making choices that are in alignment with your best and highest self or in alignment with divine love in alignment with heaven and the way that you know that you're in alignment with divine love and divine heaven is you have a really good sense of basically uh, your relationship with God or the relationship with the universe, your relationship with source, whatever you want to call it. So I know I'm giving a lot of juicy insights for just one card reading, but I feel like that's pretty good for now. I feel like if you want more fantastic information, you need to go to twinflamesuniverse.com. You need to get your all class pass. You need to invest in Twin Flame Ascension School. Um, Gabe and I, we had about a year and a half of devoted inner work mirror exercising before we came together in Twin Flame Union and it is good, it is worth it. It is absolutely 100% worth it to heal and come together with your twin flame and end separation permanently. We are not the only couple to do this. There's like a ton of students, a ton of subscribers to Twin Flames Universe. Everybody's ending separation. You don't have to accept separation with your twin flame any longer. 
anymore. You can have your twin flame union. And in fact, you should have your twin flame union, your harmonious twin flame union with your beloved on earth now. So I'm going to pull some cards. And we're going to see what uh, the divine has to say today about your choice. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. You would be amazed at how your presence, just your simple presence with yourself, your feelings, with your life, um, changes things radically. And I feel like that's what this card is pointing to. You'll be amazed at how much uh, clutters your life and actually weighs you down instead of uh, like supports you and lifts you up. And this is something that Jeff and Shalia say too, is everything in your home, everything in your life should like be supporting you or giving to you in some way or have a purpose. If it doesn't have a purpose, get rid of it, throw it out. They also cover this in uh, the Romance Attraction e-course. Or maybe it's Dreams Coming True, I forget. It's one of the e-courses where they talk about this. TwinFlamesUniverse.com. Um, but yeah, you want to have everything in your life aligned to your divinity. And don't be afraid to let go of things and let go of things quickly. Because ultimately you're a spiritual being having a human experience. And if you want the you know divinely spiritual experience of your perfect, beautiful twin flame union, which you deserve, well, you're gonna have to give some things up, <laughs> right? So this card I feel like is pointing to like, only um, have what you need, make sure there's purpose in whatever you're choosing to keep or you know not keep, and don't be afraid to travel lightly. When Gabe and I first came together, um, I donated like 20 bags of stuff. I don't, I like, yeah, we, I was just called to, I just had to, and so did Gabe. Gabe like cleaned out his apartment, and we came together really quickly and our life is so much more simplified and we're very clear on what we need and what we don't need. And it's absolutely fantastic. I feel lighter as a person. My vibration is lighter. My home isn't heavy. My home, it doesn't feel bad. So yeah, just whatever you can do to devote yourself to having an uncluttered life and emotional life too, you know, feeling your feelings, being present with yourself, giving yourself compassion when you're going through something difficult so that you know, it eases the burdens of the pain or, you know, you, you let things go faster that way. That's important. All right. So next card is transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Yeah. You'll be amazed at what changes happen to you as a result of embarking on the twin flame journey and committing to your spiritual work, committing to the inner work that Jeff and Shalia teach of twin flames universe, committing to the mirror exercise, committing to a life of love, of deep love, and a life of just being in your divinity, frankly. Yeah, don't be afraid to transform. It's okay. It's natural. It's normal. Change is good. Change feels good. And yeah, you deserve that. So let yourself transform. Make choices to transform. Don't, no need to stay the same or hang on to the old. What's there for you in the old? No, let that go. Let that go. No need. All right. One more card for us. Actually, maybe two more. Next card is stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Oh, I love this. Yeah. You'll be amazed at what your presence does for you in your life and what the mirror exercise does for you in your life. Drawing your attention to your inner world, drawing your attention to your feelings allows you to step into your power, allows you to claim peace on a deeper level. You are strong beyond measure. You are capable. You are good. You are divine. You can claim that. All right. And the final card for our reading is view from above, get the bigger picture. Yep. You're a spiritual being having a human experience and this girl is like kind of hanging out on like hot air balloons, kind of looking from above. That's a nice, that's a nice feeling, isn't it? Just kind of looking down. What's going on down there? <laughs> yeah, I just feel so much lightness when I look at this card. Like uh, sometimes like the little details of the day will try to bog you down or get you down. There's no need for that. Remember the bigger picture. Remember that you can and you should have all of your dreams come true. Of course, it's natural, it's normal, and it feels good. All right, and the bottom of the deck will do for an overall theme, solitude. In silence, peace prevails. Yeah, 
You need a lot of silence when you are practicing presence. Letting yourself move into that inner state. The deeper your presence, the richer the meditation, the more you can really feel yourself, your divine self, and know what your next steps are. So don't be afraid to get in touch with yourself in that deep and intimate way. All right, that is the reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.